Ghostbusters the video game originally released back on the PS3 in 2009, but 10 years later it's remastered on the PS4 and now I'm finally playing it in 2023. And as an 80s movie lover, my god it's great. You could say the perfect game for this Halloween. Now don't worry, I'm not going to force you to watch Ghostbusters even though I'd very much like to. Now this is all about achieving that super slimy platinum trophy. Thanks to the NC Collector for all the support and make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, it helps us out tons. Right, we start. Follow Egon and Ray. You know what? The graphics on this are actually pretty damn good. Ooh, the pole. Use. You gotta try this pole. First trophy already. What, 30 seconds in? After getting one of the easiest trophies in existence, we do the training fight in the basement, learning to capture ghosts. Oh my god. Yes! I ain't afraid of no ghost trophy. Woof! What was that for the first one? Trap a ghost. We have the talent trophy as well for complete the firehouse training level. The next set of trophies take part in the first level, the Sedgwick Hotel. In this vase. Looks like it's in the vase. Scan the vase. Scan him. Scan him. Ooh, I'm picking up a signal. I got something. Obtain 100% PKA scan on a paranormal creature. Ooh, another, another scan. And you want to keep it. This PKA meter's giving me some trophies. Collect a cursed artifact. And after collecting our first artifact, we then fight some ghosts. <laughs> this guy just like... Ah! He's just a flying chair smashing me in the face. It looks like the computer can trap him for you, which is really good. You got him. You got him, boys. Yes. Oh, aim for the flat top trophy. Eliminate a creature. Oh, nice. That was easy. We then catch up with Slimer in the ballroom and grab a few more trophies. Oh, I feel so funky. What did I get that for? Just got smashed. I'll oh, get slimed by a charging ghost. <laughs> and cook this ham. Let the ham go. There it is. Cook the ham. Cook the ham. Yeah, kosher. Nice trophy for cooking the ham. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Come on, Slimer. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Get in there. We end the Sedgwick Hotel by dealing with the boss, the Fisherman Ghost. Holy crap. It's like the ovens come to life. Way, nice dodge, nice dodge. Oh, that wasn't so much a dodge. Come on, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Trap the fisherman, trap the fisherman. Boom. The flowers are still standing trophy. Complete the welcome to the Hotel Sedgwick. After the Hotel Sedgwick, we play against the biggest name in the Ghostbusters franchise, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, the greatest creation from Ray. The next level is all around New York and Stay Puft. Oh no, the Stay Puft guy's looking straight at me. And he's just sent some minions. Scan the minions. Scan them. Oh, he's throwing a bloody car. Boom. Use Ecto-1 Super Slammer to instantly track trap ghosts. Come on, get him in, get him in, get him in. Yes, beautiful. Need to scan the stay path. Scan. Yeah, got him. Holy crapola. Oh my god. Ah, stay path. Oh, total protonic reversal. <laughs> Knock yourself down with your own weapon. We cross the streams. Boom, slam dunk. What's that for? Again, slam dunk a ghost into a trap. <laughs> oh! There he is. Knock stay puff off the building. Nice. Oh my god, I'm hanging off the edge of a building. Give him full stream. Come on, stay puff. This is a wicked level. <laughs> Come on, boson. Come on, boson. Boom! Knock him back. Yes, yes, bye bye, step up. <laughs> <laughs> Once more into the breach. Complete the panic in Times Square level. All right, search the library. Look at it, it looks great. Like being in Spider Man games. Okay, yeah, you know when you enter these sort of li libraries that there's going to be something here. Uh, book Golem. Okay. That's it, we got this bad boy. 
combination is unreal. Freeze and blast. <laughs> There's the librarian again. Okay, scan. This hopscotch, paranormal substance. And then scanning Austin Klein's puppet theatre and this bear gets a scanning trophy for this kid's area. Yeah, but the kids love us. The children's reading room has a story to tell, but it will take more than your eyes to see it. Yeah, you just got to scan a couple paranormal things here. Pretty cool. Oh dear, another book golem. Oh crap. He went straight for me. Come on, get up, get up, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. After defeating more book golems, we end up transported into a parallel world. Not too abnormal for Ghostbusters though. Making our way through this area, we come across the final boss, a giant book golem, Azaitar the Destroyer. Defeating him ends the level and continues the trophy pops. Into the portal. Get her. Trophy unlocked. Complete the checking out the library level. Woohoo! So if we upgrade the boson damage immunity now. Eat him up. Purchase all upgrades for the proton gun. And if we upgrade the slime tether cost reduction. Mother pus bucket. Getting a good way through the story now with the museum next up. It's here I ruined my run for the trophy, nice shooting Tex, which is to finish the game with less than $100,000 worth of damage. So we'll have to get that on another playthrough, but for now we can do the Destructor trophy for damaging more than 3 million. We activate four buttons across this Civil War exhibition. Should get a trophy. And then we click the final one. I think this is it. You never studied trophy. There you go. Keep your <laughs> keep your ears open to learn everything you can about the Civil War. Well, I didn't really listen to it. Sorry. Uh, there's a Civil War breakout. <laughs> okay, we got a Confederate ghost and a Union ghost. <laughs> this is funny. Got him. Got him. Come on. In the trap. Yes. Recover the trap. In you go. Yes. Recover. Oh, I looked at the trap, Ray. I looked at the trap, Ray. Recover 20 of your own full ghost traps. I buy the shock blast rate increase. Yeah, we be fast, they be slow. Purchase all upgrades for the dark matter generator. The museum ends with a boss battle against the chairman, a minion wave base fight that's really not all that difficult. Immediately after, we return to the Sedgwick Hotel, finding our first of the collectible trophies for having a drink of all eight water fountains. Okay, kick the door open, get a cursed artifact, and I believe if we clear the slime off of all the walls, we should get a trophy here. And I've quit better jobs than this. There it is. There's a nice easy trophy. Some ghost had a real blowout in the coat room. Clean it up. We cleaned it up. And the pulse accelerator upgrade. I don't want my face burned off. Trophy unlocked. Purchase all upgrades for the Mison Collider. And we have the tools. A gold, tro gold trophy. Purchase all available equipment upgrades. Two for one. The return to the Sedgwick Hotel has us face off against the Woo Spider Witch boss. But it's pretty easy anyway. Just, you know, zap the tits off. Somebody saw a cockroach on 12. That's got to be some cockroach. Bite your head off, man. We're then into the penultimate level, the Lost Island. Here we're grabbing the Hedgebuster trophy, where, you guessed it, we destroy some hedges. It's actually burn all the hedges in this little maze area. Before fighting a really cool boss, the imprisoned juvenile slaw. Releasing the shackles the slaw is held by before shooting your dirty, slimy load all over his fat. We then head off to see some old relatives of mine in the graveyard, the final level of the game where we grab a few miscellaneous trophies and keep zapping those ghosts. Okay, and kick the trap underneath. Woo, stasis dunk. We got him, we got him. That's quite tricky. Trapper goes using the stasis stream. That is quite tricky. Come on, hit one, hit one, hit one, hit one, hit one. Yeah, one down on the ground trophy. Airborne coffins are an affront to gravity. Use your proton pack to avenge mother nature. We got it. Yeah, slime dunk. Woohoo! Got another trophy. As you can imagine, trap and ghost using the slime tether. We so this should be our final artifact. 
should be. Oh, spores, molds, and fungus. Gold trophy. Collect all cursed artifacts. Yeah, it's slime time. Got another trophy. Use the slime tether on 15 ghosts. Oh, right. I didn't even know that was a trophy. Just using slime for fun. We finally enter the last area to face off against the boss, Shandor, who in phase one of the encounter is controlling the mayor. Okay, we're going to pick up Ray. Ray, I'm coming. I'm coming, Ray. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm a ghostbuster, not a doctor. Revive your teammates 20 times. <laughs> First on casual playthrough, 20 times. Is, that sounds a lot. Holy crap. Now, this is the, this is what I'm talking about. This is a boss fight. Come on, one more. One more. Nice. Nice. He couldn't heal. He couldn't heal. Final bits. It's got to be it. Woo! Disaster of biblical proportions. That is complete the Central Park Cemetery level. We came, we saw, casual or experienced difficulty as well. Now the story has been complete, it's old mop-up time. We start with going back and getting the one PKE scan I missed throughout the first playthrough. Okay, we need to get a scan on one of these guys. Union Ghost, it was the Confederate one. I need a full scan on a Confederate Ghost, that's what I missed. There it is! Back off, man! I'm a scientist trophy. Obtain 100% PKE scans for a paranormal or every paranormal creature. So back on the Hotel Cedric, there's a lovely tidy little office you can actually destroy. I mean, blast everything in the room to unlock the I love it when you roughhouse trophy. Another one I missed on the first run. Now, I think this room is damaged enough. I can't get any more money out of it. <laughs> Yeah, I love it when you rough house. As I stated when we reached the museum level, I missed the opportunity for nice shooting techs and had to settle for the destructor trophy. You can chapter select to get all the damage done, but need to replay the final boss fight for the trophy to register and actually pop. So now we're left with two trophies, complete the game on professional and nice shooting techs. Professional on this game was actually bloody hard. Not so much because of the damage you can take or anything like that, but because of the AI falling over constantly. I mean, your teammates make it super challenging. And we only have one trophy left. Nice shooting techs. So if we go into financial records, we can see on the right hand side here, total damage claim only $41,000. Need under 100K to get the trophy at the end of the game. We're at the last boss. Let's get the trophy. Okay, and we finally killing him. Come on, nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. Third bloody playthrough. There it is. Nice shooting text. Come on, one more, one more trophy. Nice shooting text to the platinum, and it's just called platinum trophy. <laughs> platinum Ghostbusters. Woohoo! Thanks for watching the video, guys. Thank you to the NC Collective for the constant support. If you do want to support the channel, the Patreon link is down below and or you can use the membership page on YouTube. Happy Halloween, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.